what's up everybody this is Chris and this is my channel of course barn on 11970 thank you for taking the time to check out this video um, this video is pretty much going to be dedicated to everybody but especially to those out on the East Coast where I am um, if you're at home right now and hopefully you are you are sitting out this uh, incredible snowstorm that we're getting um, they're projecting especially where I live to have over two feet of snow and one of the things I noticed earlier today is um, I had to mail a couple of packages. So I wanted to make sure before this storm really got bad, I went to the post office. Now, the post office is actually located in a shopping center. And you'd be amazed at how many people were getting stuff last minute. And this is unfortunately the typical case for the average person where they wait until the last minute to prepare for things and ultimately run the risk of being without because a lot of people were getting the milk they were getting the canned goods they were getting the water filling up their car with gas and people really should appreciate especially people that come to this channel and many others like it how we prepare for things because if you notice throughout history any kind of tragedy whether it's a major or minor th event has always been where everything seemed perfectly fine, everything seemed perfectly normal, everything seemed perfectly routine, and then all of a sudden something in an instant changes the routine. And if you're one of the people that prepares for things ahead of time, you really will have, I can't say you don't have to worry, but you will have a lot less worries. Because if you've been stacking food, you've been stacking water, if you have extra gasoline, if you have a fireplace filled with wood if you have the gold and silver to prepare for yourself in case there is a economic situation and it doesn't have to be some major collapse you don't have to worry then unfortunately the average person out there just waits for the last minute and that's not the best way to live and I, I've said in so many times in my videos, it doesn't always have to be a life-threatening situation or an end-of-the-world scenario. Because if you were one of the people that was last in line and couldn't get the water that you needed, or couldn't get the baby food that you needed, couldn't get the gas for your car, and now you're home and you're stuck without, use it as a learning lesson to say, you know what, I'm never going to put myself in that position again. Because if we see throughout history, tragedies can happen in an instant. And if those that are prepared are going to be having the better chances of getting through it. And we've seen this with Hurricane Sandy, where people, especially where I was living, people were sleeping in their cars overnight just to get whatever gasoline they could. And people were spending $500 on five gallons of gas and couldn't get food and water because the electricity was out and they had no power for their home so with these situations especially economically that are potentially hovering over us with our government and governments throughout the world printing mass quantities of currency it's just a matter of time before something can happen and we see how markets overreact at the slightest event and if you're one of the people that's not prepared, you're putting yourself in a position and potentially your family in a position that they really don't want to be in in the last minute. And I've said several times in my channel, if I could teach anything, it's better to be five years too early than five seconds too late. And people may mock you for it. They may not understand it. But when the time comes or if the time comes, they will understand it then. So to all the people out on the East Coast where I'm living and you're enduring this snowstorm, I hope you are home safe. I hope you are warm. And please don't drive if you don't have to, because trust me when I say before the storm even started, the roads were pretty bad and there were people all over the place. And now it's actually funny because I was looking outside my window and it was just this peaceful calm. There were no cars. There was nobody out on the streets. It just seemed like a ghost town, but it was very tranquil. And it almost made you think about how people throughout history, you know, the people before electricity, before stoves, before electric heaters, how they were able to survive situations like this. And it puts things in amazing perspective. 
So to everybody out there, I hope you guys are safe. I hope you are warm and I hope you're prepared. And if you're not, I hope this is a, a lesson to teach you it's better to be prepared. So thanks for watching, guys. Be safe, be warm, and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Peace.